Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. You can find all our resources for free online at journaliststoolbox.ai. That's journalists, plural, toolbox.ai. Uh, when you get there, uh, you will find many tools relevant to journalists uh, grouped into various categories and topics. Makes them easier to find. Uh, you can open up, for instance, our data tools page. It'll have a link with a short description to that tool. Typically tells you if it's free or paid, or at least has a freemium account with it. Um, it'll have training videos built into it. Uh, so when you open it up, you know, you can go ahead and hit the play button in here and, and uh, play through the uh, training videos. And we've got more than 120 of them up here uh, linked off this right rail here. Uh, we have the training videos and also our newsletter uh, link there as well. Um, the new, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, uh, YouTube page, you can subscribe to it for free. Um, uh, several videos up here, uh, all under 15 minutes. Um, you could go through and play them. And usually they have exercises with them too, kind of like what I'm doing here with this demo uh, today for Hey Nota, um, which will be the tool we work with. The newsletter, uh, you can read it through it very quickly. Uh, it's uh, you know, about five minutes uh, long. Um, it's free, uh, although you can donate to it as well. Um, this is a post I did the other day on Navigator. It's a little chat bot that helps you deal with trolls. It has a training video built in it. Most of the, them do, um, as well as in the, actually a second training video on this one, uh, as well as some other tools down here and some tr free training opportunities and things like that. So take advantage of these uh, uh, free resources. You can also connect with me on Twitter uh, or X. Um, and uh, also um, Blue Sky, uh, those are all linked off the right rail of the website as well. Spend a lot more time on Blue Sky right now. Um, we also have a book, uh, The Redline Project, or the, the Redline Project Journalist Toolbox, A Guide to Digital Reporting and AI. Uh, it's uh, about 40 bucks uh, at Rutledge.com. You can also find it at uh, Amazon and other booksellers. Now for the tool we're going to work with today, Nota, um, heynota.com. Um, it's a little pricey, uh, but uh, it's got a lot of tools in it uh, that are relevant to web production. You can create videos in them, uh, social caption creator, uh, image video, uh, uh, image creator, excuse me, um, uh, create summaries. Uh, it's a great time-saving tool there. Um, it will assemble a basic newsletter, too. I, I use Substack for mine, but it'll do that as well. Um, so uh, what I like about it is when you open one of these up, and I'll just do the basic video generator, um, it allows you to either cut and paste the text in, uh, or uh, you can download it from a URL or upload a file. Um, you can select your branding uh, with it, um, with paid account, you know, and they, it is a little pricey, but it does a lot of really great work. You can pick from various types of templates, um, you know, uh, very uh, basic template. Uh, or you can adjust your aspect ratio if you want it vertical for social media, 9 by 16. 16 by 9 uh, would be more horizontal, maybe for YouTube or something like that. Um, if you want to add uh, some audio, uh, either voiceover or you know, maybe some, some uh, rights-free music, uh, you can drop that in here. Um, and you can turn on or off uh, images with uh, generate images with AI uh, to fill in some of the images uh, that maybe aren't in your story. Um, so it will pull, uh, you know, the images out of your story. Um, this is a story on the Redline Project, which I had mentioned by accident earlier. Redlineproject.news, this is where my students uh, at, at UIC publish uh, stories. This one was on Chicago's speed camera program. Um, and the student has a, a great graphic here, as well as some AI-generated images, which we label as such. Um, and uh, uh, a video as well. So, and plenty of text, you know, there's a good story here. Uh, this tool is very good uh, at pulling out, you know, some of the key things in the story uh, and turning them into little captions that drop into your social media videos. Um, this is always a big challenge for my students at the end of the semester. They finish their projects and post them, and then they have to try to put together uh, a social video at the end. It can be very stressful. Um, especially if you mass produce a lot of uh, uh, social media videos uh, with either your professional newsroom or your student newsroom, uh, this tool can be really, really helpful for that um, and uh, you know, solves uh, a lot of the problems. Um, so um, you know, it shows the excluded images here um, and then um, we'll just cancel out of that. Um, and so I'm going to keep the aspect ratio at 9 by 16. 
we're going to use inspirational kind of fast paced music. It's about speed cameras. So the, the music kind of matches it. Uh, it's not great audio, you know, but it's okay. Um, and, uh, you know, it's rights free. So, you know, but you get what you get with it. I am going to cut the AI uh, disclosure out of here just so we get the, the gist of the story right away. Um, and uh, I'll just hit generate video. Um, and we'll follow all of these uh, settings. Um, the more advanced one gives you some different looks of the templates and things like that. As you can see, it's already starting to extract the text um, uh, out of here. Uh, and it'll be the text that appears in the first slide. You can change the color of it, uh, the background color. You can select a different image. You can add, uh, change the text color. Uh, you can play through the whole scene when it's done as well. You can sub out any of the images or anything you want in here. Um, and as you can see, you know, it, it put, you know, kind of a dark mask and dark text. So I'm going to change my text color. Um, that'll be the first thing I change here um, and go over here. I'm going to change it from black to white. It shows up uh, in a little uh, uh, timeline over here on the right. As you can see, it's generating some other templates as we go here. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I'll go in and, and uh, click on the color panel. I'll go up here and do a kind of a white with a little bit of a red tint and click add. Now we can read it, see how it changes. Uh, it's something you always have to look for in all of these. Uh, here, that's not a problem because it's you know white text on a black background. But you know, if there's a typo or something in here, uh, I can go in and change it. Or if I don't, just don't like the text in there, if I want it to be something else, um, I can drop that. And it's pulling some of those AI images in uh, as the background here. Um, as well. Um, so here's another one where I'm going to wind up changing the text color uh, because it's putting a lot of black text onto uh, um, uh, onto the uh, white uh, background, um, which you know, we don't want that. So um, we're going to play with that a little bit. Add the color. I should have selected the one to the right just to keep it a basic color. I can do that again. Just keep changing the text color as we go. And it looks like we're done here. It's created five, six slides. Um, if you want to preview, you can play it up here. One thing I didn't like is it didn't bring in my uh, uh, image for my graphic, which I'd like to have seen. Um, and that third picture there wasn't uh, wasn't from Chicago. So uh, that's where I'd sub in the, the graphic there. This is an AI image that it generated. Again, I can sub that out if I don't like it. Um, in that last slide too, you can add text in, you know, if you want to put the student's name or credits, uh, uh, anything. Uh, generate video, we'll generate the video and, and uh, uh, kick it out as an MP4. Um, and you can download it then and use it. Um, it does take a little while for this to, uh, to percolate. Uh, so I'll let that run a little bit. Um, so that's one of the big bonuses. Uh, another great thing about this tool is you can put it, install it right into your CMS, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, so it works right in WordPress uh, and you know, it's just fantastic. Um, and uh, it creates headlines too, right in the CMS. Uh, so everything's right there. It gives you your headline options, your summary uh, option as well. So I'm going to take this story and actually uh, uh, develop a little summary for it here. Um, and again, I'm going to paste the URL in. Just makes it a little quicker. And it'll give me a quick little summary. It'll give me some headlines, article summary, key points. Um, pull quotes, uh, you know, if you want to pull anything out and highlight it, tags to share over social um, uh, or to uh, attach to the story. Um, what's nice about the CMS is you can just click on these uh, and they'll be added right into the story uh, as well. And you know, I've pulled out a lot of proper nouns. It's what you typically look for in your, your search uh, uh, key, uh, keywords. Um, I usually introduce this tool pretty late in the semester to my students because I want them to learn how to write a good SEO headline first, how to write a nice article summary that will appear, uh, you know, in, in uh, uh, Google search or other search tools, um, how to pull out the key points out of the story and do kind of a bullet point list. But that's what the summary tool does. So, you know, this can be a nice, uh, you know, follow-up point to them. Uh, is they can go in and, and you know, okay, I, I like this one, this third one, but I'm going to edit it a little bit to get exactly what they want. 
um, which is really cool. Um, so and then you can hit the regenerate button uh, uh, in the upper right and uh, uh, it'll uh, do it over again um, if you're just not happy with uh, the results. So it'll kick it through. Um, the social caption creator is another really useful tool. Um, and this, with this one, I think I'll upload uh, the story from my desktop. Um, so I'll just drag and drop it in here. I've got it up here in the upper right. I'm a big drag and drop guy. Or you can hit the upload button, whatever you want. It'll bring the whole story in. Um, and then over here, um, I can choose my branding again. Um, I can select what social media accounts I want to create with it. If I only want TikTok and Instagram, I just check those. Um, the social style, um, you know, if you want it promotional, if it's a product, we want new style. I always exclude the emojis. Oh, God, I do not like emojis in my uh, news posts. And then it'll give you a couple of selections for each platform. Um, it doesn't have Blue Sky in here yet, um, but really I use the ones from X. They work pretty well on Blue Sky uh, as well. And it generates, you know, some pretty good uh, options here. Again, um, I would go in and edit them a little bit. Um, you know, the LinkedIn one's a little long, um, but the others, you know, the length is just about right. So uh, you can label it uh, up here uh, and regenerate if you're not happy with them. Uh, or if I like them, I can hit the save button and save them uh, right there. Um, so those are three really good tools. Uh, the, the video player has fin finally kicked in. Uh, that's why I waited for it. Um, and really, at this point, you just download it. Um, and uh, it loads as an MP4 into your downloads folder. Uh, right. And then you can just pull it right out. And you've got your social media uh, video. Um, it's, uh, right here, it's actually still downloading. It's out to MP4. There it is. Uh, and I can just take this over to my desktop attach it to my social media posts, uh, and away we go. Um, so several of my, my students uh, have, have used it, um, had very good results with them, um, and, uh, you know, hope you find this tool useful uh, because we sure do. We feel it's, uh, you know, uh, worth the effort and the money uh, that we put into it uh, and time that we put into it. Uh, we get a really good re return. Uh, if you ever want to see some of the social media posts that we use, we have them posted up on Redline Project, um, uh, and uh, you can see one right here. Boom. Um, this one uh, was on uh, the tent cities and the immigrants uh, uh, in Chicago and has the little uh, uh, photos. It kind of pans across and it looks real nice. Um, we don't use it with every story. Sometimes, you know, we just have an interesting photo with it or uh, a video from the story. Here's another NOTA one. Um, this was on climate change. Um, which is really well done. It's an opinion piece that a student wrote. Um, so uh, take advantage of all these tools all in one place. Uh, again, heynota.com. Fabulous, fabulous tool. All right, that's all we had for now. We'll see you on our next training video.